Hello, I'm Lily Steiner, live from Australia. Today, Liza Minnelli, Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. join us in the studio and they're going to talk about their lives growing up in Hollywood. John Farnham joins us and he's singing especially for our guests, Liza, Frank and Sammy. And they tell me that they're eager to chat to him about his life and career in Australia. I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone a little bit better. So let's welcome our special guests, Liza, Frank and Sammy Davis Jr. I'm Lily Steiner and Lily Steiner Live Across Australia is a sort of program I'd like to host sometime in the not too distant future. My career in television has been pretty broadly based. I started off with aspirations in current affairs and I trained with Lee Murray, the doyen of radio. My career then shifted to acting and I took part in almost anything that was going on television, small parts in most of the soaps, commercials and a little bit of film work. I suppose my least memorable part would have been when I portrayed a fairy floss lady in Prisoner. And my most memorable audition was yodeling for a Barry Humphrey special on my way to pick up my degree at Melbourne University. For the last four years, I've been working as a producer-director. Now that's entailed all areas of production. I've done some research, scripting, production management, and I also edit my own tapes. That's BVU and Betacam format. But as my aspirations for on-screen stuff haven't waned. What I've got to offer is a pretty broad knowledge of the entire production process, as well as the experience and the enthusiasm to back it up. My producer-director credits have been mainly in educational television, and they're listed on my CV. The story of how I came from acting to production is pretty interesting, and I'd love to tell you about it personally. My career goals are to host a program pretty much along the lines of a Tonight Show. Some interviews, some current affairs topics, some live entertainment. I intend to continue following the career path that I am at the moment and I'd like to keep you informed of how I'm going. What I'd like you to do is keep me informed of any projects that you may be planning that might help me to reach my ultimate goal. That's Lily Steiner, live across Australia. Hello, welcome to TV Ed. The Plain English Speaking Award is an annual competition for secondary school students. The aim of the award is to encourage and maintain the best use of clear and effective spoken English. Stuart McCulloch is the winner of the 1988 Victorian State Final. He's a student at Flinders Christian Community College in Tyab and he was the joint winner in the Southern Metropolitan Regional Final. Today he's going to present his winning speech entitled The Way People Think. Hello and welcome to What's New in Education. This series of programs looks at new educational products and services that are available throughout Australia. All schools will try to make your child's time at school as happy as possible. Your child may be given the opportunity to do things that may not have been available to you at school. So if you want to know about anything that your child is doing, please ask. The information card you're asked to fill in is very important. It allows your child's teacher to know such things as any special medical concerns the school should be aware of, as well as who has permission to collect your child from school and how you might be contacted during the day. It's particularly important to carefully list phone numbers where you may be reached during the day. And if these change at any time, please let the school know immediately. When packing your child's lunch, don't pack too much. And try and include nutritious foods that he or she will like. Well, that certainly sounds as though it's very worthwhile, and I hope a lot more parents will be, become more involved with Curriculum Days. Thank you very much for joining us and explaining what a curriculum day actually is. If you're interested in public speaking and would like to take part in next year's awards, contact Mr Riley at Barwon South Western Region on telephone number 052 794444. Join us again next time on TV Ed. Energy is required for both heating and cooling. In early days, people discovered that heat energy could be created by rubbing two sticks together. 
energy is also required for making things cooler. When you perspire on a hot day, it's very tempting to sit in front of a fan. The fan creates a breeze which causes the perspiration to evaporate. This lowers your temperature and makes you feel cooler. Energy is required for any liquid to be turned into a gas. The energy comes from the surroundings of the liquid. The principle of sound, how it travels, how it's made, recorded and transmitted are all explained in physics. If you play an instrument or if you've ever taken apart a transistor, the physics you become involved in at high school, teamed with the interest you already have, could lead you into an interesting career in the future. Space flight, holograms, scientific research. These are all areas of advancing technology. But it's people that decide the direction of these technologies. People like you. I think this part of school is work. I, I like the zoo and I like the butterflies. Hello and welcome to What's New in Education. This series of programs looks at new and exciting products and services that are available throughout Australia. Ndeyutala Hishongwa is a Namibian teacher working with Community Aid Abroad. Ndeyutala, perhaps you could tell me about the living conditions in Namibia and also how the funds raised are going to help the children living there. There's always a new and unusual exhibition on at the Museum of Performing Arts in Melbourne. Most of us would be aware of the contribution of the French to wine and food, but we may not be quite as aware of the French contribution to the exploration of the Australian coastline. West Ed Media and the Western Australian Ministry of Education have developed a kit entitled Our French Connections. Thank you for joining us on What's New in Education. Join us again next time on TV Ed Australia.